You don't have the guts. Not in a million years, would you? Batman the Animated Series gave us what many consider to be the definitive versions of Batman characters outside the comic books, but Harley Quinn really stands out amongst all of them, which is pretty impressive considering you're dealing with icons like Batman and the Joker. She could have easily just been Joker's sidekick and nothing more, but you have to give a lot of credit to Paul Dini who created her and Arlene Sorkin who voiced her for giving that character so much, you know, interesting depth as she went on. She was psychotic and yet she was kind of lovable. She was someone who was helping Joker do horrible things and yet you sympathized with her. And as the show went on, they really tapped into that. that you really saw so, sort of the pain inside her. There was pathos there and she was trying to escape from the Joker. She got her own storylines with Poison Ivy as the series went on. And I think the amazing thing is that because she was created for that show, the impact she made, the fact that they were like, we have to add her to the comic books and she became a big part of Batman comics. The fact she eventually made it to live action. Everyone's so excited about her in Suicide Squad, but it really all goes back to that original depiction in Batman the Animated Series. That's why we're looking back at 1990s animated characters and Harley Quinn stands out as one of the very best. Harley Quinn, pleased to meet you. 